All right, hey everybody, we're going to talk about this today, and so many people get this wrong, yet so many get it right, but we are going to dive into this and take a look at all these different scenarios that we have here and try to prevent this from happening. That is our game plan, so we're going to go into this. So looking at it now, when we're talking about tie-down points in the bed systems, okay, and how they vary from truck to truck, this makes or breaks what truck I buy. This is very important to me. Um, Nissan gets this wrong, yet they also offer options to make it better. Okay, but when we look at the Frontier, this is a 2024 Frontier. These are my videos that I did where I've actually reviewed these trucks. But we got a, a tie-down point back here that's medium high up. And then we have one tucked way up in here in the front, nothing down low. There is no low option in here uh, to give it. Now, they do give us this rack system, which is cool. Um, I had that in my Tacoma, too. I never once used it. I could care less about anything being tied down up here. We need stuff tied down into the bed. And we'll talk about that here. But they do also offer a bed liner system in there that uh, uh, they, that rails that can go down in here. Now those rails seems like the side channels are rated for 200 pounds each. The floor and the header, the header being the one up front, are rated for only 150 pounds each. Okay, that's the header one and then the floor ones go right down through this channel. But they're the same thing. They're aluminum like this and they're going to uh, sit there and it's kind of nice to give you the options but they're they're low rated. Um, and they're also right in the middle of your bed. So it's kind of a weird spot to put them but we'll take it. So at least Nissan does have some options available that you can buy um, from Nissan directly to be able to make that work but um, the tie down points are vitally important for the fact that we need to be able to tie stuff down um, as an example like we'll look and dive into it more here in a second but let's go through this one here now Tacoma does it right okay Tacoma has a low one in the front and a low one in the back. This is on a 2024 Tacoma. My third gen was the same. You got a low one here and a low one here. And I even went as far as to bought. I bought more of these black ones that you see here. I bought two more. And I mounted them up here on these ones. I took these frame bolts out and mounted these. <coughs> and I drilled these out and made them a little bit bigger. And I mounted them on here so that I could have tie downs actually on the floor. Floor tie downs are super important. Low tie downs are super important. Upper tie Tie downs mean nothing. There's no real value to the rail system or upper tie downs for securing a lot of different things. Give you an example of that gas cans, okay? You can't secure a gas can and tie it down to upper tie down points, okay? They just fall over. It doesn't work very good. Or they slide back and forth. You want to tie gear down and keep it stationary. Buckets, wood. If I want to put wood in the back of my truck, I can't lay a bunch of two by fours back here and tie them down with high tie down levers or tie down points. But Tacoma does it right. Everything is down low on here. When we look at Ranger, Ranger kind of does it all right because they got a low tie down in the back, which helps for wood. They got a one here and it's kind of not too bad here, but nothing on the floor. Nothing down low where it should be. The front one sucks being up higher on here. And I mean, you can't even, like even my winch I carry in the back of my Gladiator right here, I can't tie it down because the tie down points are too high. My When we throw beach chairs or lawn chairs, um, and if you were to throw them back here, you cannot tie any of that down to keep it from moving around. The tie down points are higher up than what they need to be. My tree stands and things like that too. I throw my tree stands back there. Tree stands are, you know, they, they're like a missile if I were to get in an accident and come right through this bed if they wanted to or cause damage, but I can't tie them down because the tie downs are higher up. So I, I set it in my bed. Next thing you know, it's, it's sliding all over the place. Toolboxes. If I want to put a toolbox in this truck and leave it sit right here, I cannot tie it down. I can tie it up, but I cannot tie it down. Um, kayaks. You want to put a kayak in here. At least on this one, you do got some low ones where, like I said, on the uh, when you look at, on, and same with the Tacoma, be easy to do, but when you look at the Frontier, it's pretty, you, you got right here, but you can tie it and it might hold it, but it's not as low as you'd like to see it down here to be able to tie it down. And in the front, it's way up here. There's nothing to keep the front of that boat from flopping up and tipping up and coming out. And when the back end's hanging off, to keep that from popping up because the tie downs are up high. That's kind of a problem for a lot of vehicles. Low tie downs are what matters. Um, if even like cinder blocks, if I want to put cinder blocks in here and I want to put them, you're not going to stick them out here by a tailgate. You want to wait for it. If I was going to Lowe's to buy uh, five cinder blocks and I want to put them in here and stack them, I can tie them down with low tie downs. I cannot do that 
in this truck bed. There's no way to tie down those cinder blocks in there and keep them low. Okay, same thing with the Ranger. There's no way to tie them down unless I get them over here. And this is just going to tie them barely down. Okay, this one will tie them down, but it's at the back end. But you see the issues we have with that. Even a lawnmower. If I want to put a lawnmower in the back of the Frontier, okay, I don't really have anything that's going to tie it down. I can't tie it down to nothing unless I add those floor cleats. So it becomes an issue. Um, another one here. Here we go right here. Now the Colorado, Colorado does it really good. Okay, Colorado's got it low here. Now it's not on the floor, but it's low. Wish it was on the floor, but at least we got four of them. We got two up midway up, which is where it matters most, and then two down low on both sides. And it's important. But remember, this is where the strength of the bed is as well, too. Not up here high. We don't want to be tying things um, up here high at these rails or actually where here, okay, tie, tying things to this is not as strong as we wish it would be. And even if they'll hold the weight rating, they're going to be very hard on your side of your truck. We'd rather have that stuff down on the floor. And uh, when we look at the Chevy, Chevy does really, really good on here. Now, what about uh, the Maverick? Okay, the Maverick nails it. Maverick's got one of the best there is. In the Maverick, we got two down low right here where they should be on the floor. We got them up high in all four corners, and we have them down low in the back corners as well, too. And this is on a Maverick. Okay, but Maverick crushes it. They do a fantastic job. And these tie downs are flip down, meaning they lay flat, just like the ones in the Tacoma do here where this, see how they lay down flat so that they're not going to affect your gear. As you go to slide stuff in and out of here, you're not going to bother those. But when you need them, they pop up. Well, the Maverick has that same system up here in the front. These are going to lay flat out of the way so that you can fit your gear in here and then you have your dedicated tie-down points in all four corners, plus you have a track system on a Maverick. Okay, Maverick bed is done perfectly, okay, perfectly. What about uh, the Gladiator? Here's the Gladiator I have here. Only tie-down points we got in it are low and low, where it matters. And notice these are the same thing. They are flip out, okay, so they're not going to interfere with your load. They swing out when you need them. These work flawlessly, okay, low tie-downs here, low tie-downs here, pure function okay the way they should be love it i love the way they're set up in there ridgeline ridgeline honda ridgeline does a fantastic job as well too as you can see here um they have uh i've kind of blocked it let me see here um get my arm out of the way but they got one here they got one down here low one up high too in the upper corner of this rail down here on the ground and up there. So they got all four corners covered and they have them down low. We like them being down low. Now this would be much nicer if these were flipped down so they weren't interfering with this, you know, your system of throwing things inside of the bed. They kind of suck that they stay standing up all the time, but at least they're there. And uh, you can see the other ones right here, two here, high, low, high and low. So they've done a fantastic job at this too. This is very important. People seem to not think about it, um, but it's a huge deal breaker for me. Okay. And based on that and the way this stuff works and how I tie so many things down in the bed of my truck, if we backtrack through there, what are we, what are we looking at here? Okay. Where, where are we sitting at? Remember anything loose in the bed of your truck in an accident becomes a missile. So if it's not tied down correct, this is a story of your life right here. And remember, you are inside this truck, okay? There can be a lot of damage that happens. I need stuff tied down. Even this truck here, look, low tie downs in the front, even in this one, okay? So this is important. For me, the Ridgeline tie down systems work fantastic. I would probably try to change these front two out personally so I could fit gear in there. Maybe if they bothered me, I would probably try to switch those to a lay flat. Um, the Colorado... Or, I mean, the uh, Gladiator, perfect. I wouldn't change anything in it. It's it's flawless. They're tucked out of the way, hidden behind the rail. And they're flip out right here. And they're exactly where I need them to be. And they're low and functional. And I can tie stuff down perfectly. I own it, use it all the time. It was a huge selling feature of the truck. Um, the Ford Maverick nailed it. Crushed it. Probably the best there is is the Maverick when it comes to bed layout. Probably the best system that there is in here. Um, and uh, the Colorado does a very good job too. We really can't complain about that. These are down low enough that we can pretty much tie anything that we need to and keep it secure. And I like how these are not sticking out and causing any issue. They're up on the curve part of that, which is kind of a nice feature too. So they do a good job. Uh, the, or the Ranger, the Ranger... 
Ranger kind of, it's it's manageable, and for people that don't care, it's probably okay, but the lack of front ones really sucks down here. Not having, I would purposely not buy the Ranger. I would not buy the Ranger because this would be a big deal for me. Like I said, not being able to stack a toolbox right here and tie it down and keep it from moving, or my winch, put my winch in here and tie it down and not keep it from moving. I don't want to put a 100-pound winch back here at the tailgate where the low tie-down points are or over here in the middle and lose my whole truck bed space. I want to tie stuff down as heavy up here against the bed rack or the front uh, the front wall here and I can't do that so that one would be out for me um, the Tacoma works perfectly they do a fantastic job they, they nailed it the uh, the ridge line the ridge line like I said I mean the uh, uh, frontier for me personally this is a this is a big hit now they do make the track system the track system is probably going to be a lifesaver and if I own this truck I would buy that floor mounted track system so that I have that option and I would put the cleats in there if there were no other options to do now me personally i would try to see if there's a way since that track system is going to bolt into these holes right here i would be searching online to see if there's a way to just put some uh cleats right in here some of those drop downs like we have on a tacoma these lay flat ones i would see if there's some kind of a system like that that we can actually add two here and put one here one in the front one more here and put all four of these points that you're going to screw in a rail system to, I would try to see if there was a way to make some uh, bed tie down things. Like if we look at that and we type in here, uh, let's go 2023 Nissan front, um, Frontier bed tie, uh, bed floor tie down. See what they offer us for it. Let's look at images. See, here's the rails. This is the rail system right here that you can get in there. And you can see it mounts in there. And yeah, it's, and like I said, it's not horrible. You can see the upper ones tucked up in here. But uh, that, you know, and it sits down in that channel a lot lower. So it may be a pretty good idea down there. But it would be nice to have, um, what's this saying right here? See, they're, they're showing... Uh, 22 4 on Pro 4X looking for good tie-down points. See, this guy's even trying to find the same thing. He's like, he's tired of the, the stupid high tie-downs that trucks are doing today. And he's like, I got these four points. How can I put tie-downs in there? I wonder if he actually came up with an idea. Let's look at it, see if they come up with anything. Uh, uh, no, the bed's pretty thin. I think you'd want to be careful. You mount it. No, so they're not giving us anything there. Um, but like I said, though, that's the kind of thing that I would be trying to solve before I buy. Um, because this is important. Okay, this is vitally important stuff that you, you understand what the function is of these and how you're going to use them. See, here's like a third gen Tacoma when I bought mine. Okay, see how they're up here in the third gen, but down here in the fourth gen, they listen to us and they put it down lower. Okay, but in the third gen, um, wherever that was... Where is that at here? Um, right here. In the third gen, they were up high, so I replaced these ones with those full flat ones up here because I needed them. They're that important. So for me, vital. The truck tie-down positions um, are crucial, and uh, I want to bring it to your attention. What are your thoughts? Do they even matter to you? Do you care? Maybe you don't. Maybe you're not worried even a little bit. I haul a lot of stuff in my truck for all sorts of different projects, and for me, it's very, very important, plus all my hunting gear and all that stuff. How, is it important to you? Does this stuff matter? Um, you know, do you feel the same? What do you think? Let me know. Thanks for watching.